Hello everyone. Today we are going to design an axially loaded rectangular column. Let us read the question and write the given data. Design the reinforcement in a column of size 450 mm into 600 mm. Let us keep the small side as B and the bigger side as D. Subjected to an axial load of 2000 kN under service load and live load. So the load P is given as 2000 kN. The column has an unsupported length of 3.2 meter and effectively held in position and restrained against rotation in both ends. The unsupported length L is given as 3.2 meter. We can convert that into millimeter. Use M20 concrete and FE 415 steel. So FCK is 20 and FOU is 415. The first step is to find the effective length. To find that we have to open the IS 456 code book page number 94. In that page we have to see the table number 28. In the question, it is given that the column is effectively held in position and restrained against rotation in both the ends. So we have to select the first condition. The formula to find the effective length is 0.65L. So 0.65 into 3200, we will get 2080 millimeter. Now we are going to check if the column is short or slender. Let us open this book and see the page number 41. In this page, we have to see this class. It states that a compression member may be considered a short when both the slenderness ratios Lex upon D and Ley upon B are less than 12. In our case, Lex and Ley will be equal to the effective length Le which is 2080 mm. For Le upon D, we will get 3.46, which is less than 12. For Le upon B, we will get 4.62, which is also less than 12. So it is a short column. Now let us find the minimum eccentricities. We have to open this code book, page number 42. The class 25.4 states that all columns shall be designed for minimum eccentricity equal to the unsupported length of the column upon 500 plus lateral dimensions upon 30 subjected to a minimum of 20 mm. When we use these formulas, when we find the eccentricity in the x direction, we can use the longer side. When we find the eccentricity in the y direction, we can use the short side. The unsupported length of the column is 3200 mm. For ex minimum, we will get 26.4. It is more than 20. In these two values, we have to select the maximum one. That is 26.4. Suppose this value is less than 20. Let us say it is 18. Then for EX minimum, we have to select 20. For EY minimum, we will get 21.4. It is also more than 20. So we have to select that. Now in this code book, let us open the page number 71. Let us see the class 39.3 for the short actually loaded members in compression. To find the area of the concrete and reinforcement, we can use this formula, but there is one condition. The minimum eccentricity as per 25.4 does not exceed 0 0.05 times the lateral dimensions. In our case, there are two lateral dimensions, D and B. For 0.05D, we will get 30, which is more than 26.4. For 0.05B, we will get 22.5, which 
which is more than 21.4 so the minimum eccentricity does not exceed 0 0.05 times the lateral dimensions hence this column may be treated as axially loaded column we can use this equation now let us find the factored load pu the formula is 1.5 p the load p is 2000 1.5 into 2000 we will get 3000 kilonewton now we can use this formula and find the area of the reinforcement in this formula ac is the area of the concrete and ASC is the area of longitudinal reinforcement for the columns. First, we have to find the total area, that is the gross area, 450 into 600, we will get that. We know that the gross area is equal to area of the concrete plus area of the reinforcement. So, AC will be AG minus ASC. In this equation, let us apply all of the values. After simplifying for ASC, we will get 3110.53 mm square. Now let us open this book, page number 48. This clause states that the cross-sectional area of longitudinal reinforcement shall be not less than 0.8% and not more than 6% of the gross cross-sectional area let us check the percentage of steel which is equal to asc upon ag into 100 when we do that we will get 1.15 percentage it comes between 0 0.8 and 6 so it is safe for the area of longitudinal reinforcement we have got this now we have to use trial and error method we have to try with the different diameters I have tried with the 25 mm and 12 mm diameters. I am going to use 6 numbers of 25 mm diameter and 2 numbers of 12 mm diameter bars. When we add these two areas, we will get approximately equal to this. But we have to make it sure that the provided area is more than the required area. You can try with the different diameters with the different numbers the total area should be approximately equal to and a little more of this but we have to follow some conditions let us open this book page number 48 the minimum number of longitudinal bars provided in a column shall be 4 in rectangular columns and 6 in circular columns our column is rectangular the minimum number is 4 but we have kept 8 numbers so here we are safe the bars shall not be less than 12 mm in diameter our smallest diameter is 12 so there is no problem we should not keep less than that we can provide the 6 numbers of 25 mm diameter bars in this way and 2 number of 12 mm diameter bars here now we are going to design the lateral ties. Let us open this code book, page number 49. The diameter of the lateral ties shall be not less than one fourth of the diameter of the largest longitudinal bar and in no case less than 6 mm. In this book, 16 mm is error. It is mistyped. Actually, it is 6 mm. First, let us try with one fourth of the diameter of the largest longitudinal bar. We know that the largest diameter we provided was 25 millimeter. 25 upon 4, we will get 6.25 millimeter. And the second condition is that in no case it should not be less than 6 millimeter. So the diameter of the lateral ties should not be less than these two. In this case, let us keep the diameter of the lateral ties as 8 mm. Now we have to find the spacing, that is the pitch. The pitch of transverse reinforcement shall be not more than the least of the following distances. 
first the least lateral dimension of the compression members the size of the column is 450 into 600 the least is 450 16 times the smallest diameter of the longitudinal reinforcement bar to be tied our smallest diameter longitudinal bar is 12 millimeter 16 into 12 we will get 192 millimeter the third one is 300 millimeter from these three we have to select the minimum one that is 192 millimeter we can round this value as 190 so let us keep the diameter of the lateral ties as 8 millimeter and with the pitch of 190 millimeter here you can see the cross section with the reinforcement details let us keep 40 millimeter as the clear cover now we are going to end the session thank you for watching this video